Boston is no easy task. With the recent highly publicized deaths of two Boston bikers, riders are taking more steps to ensure safety. A memorial is set up in South Boston for Tanya Conley, who was struck and killed by an 18-wheeler in September. Despite the recent accidents, David Watson, executive director of advocacy group Mass Bike, remains optimistic. People have to realize that there's more to look at than just the number of crashes. Um, you have to look at that number in relation to the number of people who are bicycling to get a real feel for whether it's getting more safe, less safe, or staying the same for bicyclists. Thanks to the addition of Hubway, there are more bikes on the road with fewer accidents. Mahis Tapa uses caution as he bikes from Brookline to MIT for class. If it is a long drive, a long ride, then uh, could be I might be um, next to the bigger trucks or the buses. That might be a problem. But here, like, I usually find small cars on the bus. There, there's like a couple MBTA bus. That's the biggest one you can find in this area. So I think. As the colder winter months approach, there'll be less bikes on bike racks outside of Calm and all across campus. The hubway stations in the city will shut down, and there'll be fewer bikers on the roads. The city, however, plans to launch a public awareness campaign in the spring about bikers' safety. Outside Calm. Mike Neff for BU TV News.